Hey guys, what's going on? It's Alex Vanover back with DIY Alex and today's project is going to be so much fun. I'm going to show you how to craft a chalkboard sign for July 4th and I have some new vinyl that I'm going to be playing with so this is going to be a blast. So welcome. If you are just now joining us, let me know that you can hear me okay and see me okay and then we will get started on this project really soon. I'm so glad you guys are here. I have not done a live on a Tuesday in what seems like forever. So I'm excited to get started. I'm just gonna pull up the live over here so I can see your guys' comments. Just a second and then we will get going. Can you, and also, um, yeah, I think I already said that, but let me know if you guys can hear me okay and see me okay and all of that stuff. I know there's a little bit of a lag, so I don't see any comments just yet, but I wanna make sure that you guys can hear me okay before we get going. Hey, Deanna, I'm so glad you're here. Good, she says she can see and hear, great, that's awesome. So yeah, it's been a while since I've done um, just like a live on a Tuesday and I'm so excited to craft with this new vinyl. Good, good. Mandy said she can hear us well too. Good. Well, welcome guys. I'm so glad that you're here. Um, 143 released this new, um, well, I guess it was StarCraft, released this new Metallic HD and I'm so excited to play with it. I actually haven't had time yet, so I'm going to be doing it here with you guys. And then I decided to add in a little bit of StyleTech FX, which is this really sparkly stuff because there is a sale going on at 143 Vinyl today. So if you're watching this live today, which is Tuesday, June 29th, there is a sale on Glitter Vinyl, Glitter HTV, and StarCraft Loose Glitter, but it only goes until midnight tonight. So if you're watching the replay at a later date the sale does not apply but I thought that I would use something that's a little bit more sparkly for the white um, because even though the white metallic Starcraft HD is very pretty it just isn't super like obviously metallic <laughs> if that makes any sense so I decided to use glitter vinyl instead hey Maritza I'm glad you're here <laughs> Angie said I'm at work so I have to keep the volume down low yeah Angie you already know I mean I'm always loud so definitely keep that volume turned down hey Ruth I'm so glad that you're here too good good lots of you guys joining me good deal hey I don't know if that how to say your um, YouTube handle Freakus designs is that right First time here, well welcome. I am so excited that you're here and this is gonna be a really, really great live for you to join in on us because this is a really, really easy project. Obviously because July 4th is this coming weekend, I thought I would do something a little different from my usual content this week just to take a break from the usual. So yeah, I'm excited. Double fisting with Diet Coke and water because you all know how I do. I run on caffeine, it's totally necessary and I can't function without it, but I gotta have water too. <laughs> so I've got two different tumblers that I've made with me. Hey Barbara, welcome. Hey Letta, I'm glad that you caught me live too. And Kayla Norton is here, hi Kayla. All right, we've got lots of friends joining us. Hey Kathy Ann from New Jersey, very good. Good, good. Well, let me know in the comments where you're joining me from, and then I'm going to get started because y'all know I like to get straight down to the point. I've got to get all this weeded, and this will be my first time weeding the new um, Metallic StarCraft HD, so you guys will get to see what that looks like. Mama Bear is also her first time here, too. Did get the mystery box through 143 vinyl. Oh, good. I'm so excited. If you guys did get a mystery box, all of that kind of good stuff starts tomorrow. I'm going to be posting the unboxing and doing a premiere with you guys. We are going to have so much fun with that mystery box. Please don't have any spoilers or anything. So if you've received your box already, don't say anything until tomorrow after the premiere of the unboxing video. That way we can keep it a surprise for all of those who haven't gotten it yet. Hey, Trisha, first time for you too. Well, welcome. I'm so glad that you're here. Oh, Trisha's from Arkansas. Very cool. Just bought a Cricut machine and no clue how to use it yet. So I'm here from the tips. Oh, from Jamaica. Well, welcome. That's really, really cool. I think a lot of these tutorials are going to be really helpful for you for the mystery box um, because they're going to be all guided. So you have all the materials you need to make seven projects from the box. 
So it's gonna be perfect. And I have lots of other beginner content. If you didn't get a mystery box or if you wanna learn how to do some other things, I have tons of beginner content on my channel. You can look under playlists at Cricut for Beginners and that makes it really, really easy to get started because all of those tutorials are geared for you beginners. Oh, good. Ruth found, um, Ruth got her box and opened it up. Good, good. Hey, Rose, Rosina. Is that how you say your name? Rosena? That's a beautiful name. I just want to make sure I'm pronouncing it correctly. First time joining in too? Well, gosh, there's lots of you guys who are new here. I'm so glad that you're here. Very good. Yeah, Mandy's from New York. Hey, Mary. I'm glad you're here too. Okay, good. Well, there's so much fun stuff going on. Make sure you guys keep chatting with me in the comments because y'all know I love to be talking to you the whole time that I'm crafting, but I'm going to send you up to my overhead camera and we're going to get this party started because this project is going to be so much fun. All right. Oh my gosh. And you can see all of my <laughs> Diet Coke and everything. I'll zoom you guys in a little bit so that you're just looking at the crafts. Okay, so first let's take a look at this new vinyl since I've been talking about it so much. I'll show you what I have left of the full sheets. I know I've already cut some out of it, of course, but at least you'll get an idea of what these look like. So these are the new StarCraft HD colors in metallic. So they're not new colors to the color line. They just have a metallic finish to them. And I ended up using the glossy colors on my project. I think that the metallic this is a little bit easier to see out of the glossy color so that's why i chose them plus you guys see you can kind of see that coating over top of it that's what makes it metallic so guys i'll also tell you a secret as i was cutting this whole project i had this done like over an hour ago and then i realized that i had cut this svg without sizing it to my blank and it was way too small way too small so i decided to um recut it out of the glossy colors i originally had it in the matte um, but i figured the glossy would give good contrast to the chalkboard anyway since the chalkboard is matte so those are the three glossy colors and then these are what the three matte colors look like. So here's the matte red, and you can kind of see that metallic shimmer on it. It's not quite sparkly. I think shimmer is probably a good word to describe it, but I'm so excited to craft with this stuff. I've been waiting to do this, um, and I'm so glad that I told you guys I would do it last week because whenever I tell you guys something, I always get it done. Sometimes when it's just for me, I don't get it done for a really, really long time. Perfect, perfect. Oh, good. Hey, Deanna, welcome. <laughs> Watching from the heat box of Yuma, Arizona. Hey, I feel that it is so hot here. Um, oh my goodness, guys, it has been quite a week. My air conditioning is out downstairs. Um, so I have, luckily, we are blessed enough to have two air conditioning units, one upstairs and one downstairs. And our downstairs um, air conditioning went out uh, late last week and we have to have it replaced and there's all these crazy things going on. So y'all, it is a week for me over here. Hey, Leticia, I'm glad you're here. Hey, Chris. Oh, she got the box. Good, good. Well, I'm so glad that you got it. I hope that you love it and you're so excited. So anyways, that's an overview of the new kinds of, or the new colors of vinyl that I'm going to be using. And then I talked a little bit about it and I drug some of the colors out too, but because the white is not super obviously metallic, I decided to add in some of the um, StyleTech FX colors. Why? Well, yeah, I ended up doing the silver and the white because they are definitely super sparkly and I wanted you guys to be able to see the contrast. Plus they are included in the sale today. So if you want to, um, if you want to take advantage of that sale, it's at 143vinyl.com and they're having an all things glitter sale. So there they have all their glitter vinyl, glitter HTV and loose glitter 15% off until midnight tonight. So you definitely want to make sure that you go take advantage of that. The code for that is glitter 15. And hopefully um, if Kayla is available, she'll drop a link for you guys in just a second. And if she's not, I will grab a link for that too. I definitely guys want you guys to be able to take advantage of this because FX has quickly become my favorite glitter vinyl maybe of all time. It's so easy to work with and I really like the way that it weeds and it's just, uh, it's so much fun. Oh, thank you, Letta. 
If you have followed me on social media, you guys know how much, how long it took me to get my craft room looking like this. It has been quite a journey. So thank you. I love showing it off because I'm very proud of this room. Hey, Roseanne got her box yesterday. Only be able to listen now on my home. Hey, that's okay, Roseanne. The replay is always available if you want to watch it at a later date. And you guys, um, Kayla Norton just dropped the link to the All That Glitter sale. So if you want to take advantage of it, please do. But of course, there's never any pressure with me. You guys know that. Um, and the link that Kayla used is an affiliate link. So that means that if you click on that link and you shop through it, I get a small commission of your purchase to help support what I do, but it doesn't cost you anything extra. So if you decide you want to use it thank you but you certainly never have to never feel any pressure hey Deanna well I'm glad you're here all right so now that we've got an overview of the new vinyl let's seriously get started on this project so what I'm gonna do first let me show you guys the blank that I have I've got all different kinds of pieces everywhere <laughs> I think this is just the um that's just the other sheets not the stuff I'm actually crafting with so I got this um, chalkboard plaque from Michaels and I linked it in the description below if you guys live near a Michaels and you want to grab it yourself. But as you can see, it's got a chalkboard center, but a plain um, wood border. So I'm actually going to paint it before we do anything else. And then that way we can let it dry while we are working on the vinyl. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some painter's tape and I'm going to tape that all the way around the edges of the chalkboard so that I can go ahead and paint without worrying that I'm going to get um, really messy because I'm a very messy painter and I know that. So I'm just going to go ahead and plan to not mess it up. I got to make sure it's all straight there. And painter's tape shouldn't pull this chalkboard coating off of the sign. So it's nice and gentle. Oh my gosh, I know. Kayla said Lester is quickly becoming her favorite um, metallic vinyl. Yeah. So we are using Lester for just one little part of this truck design. And y'all, it is gorgeous. Like, look at the metallic on this stuff. And it's like that on all the colors. Lester is not included in the All Things Glitter sale. But just for future reference, it is absolutely gorgeous. I'm obsessed with it. Um, so that's why I wanted to include it because the truck has like a brown... Um, almost like a rack on the back of the truck bed. So I had to I had to use some kind of brown and I decided to use luster because if we're going with like fun and glittery, I figured that would be a great um, color for that. Can't get that last little piece off there, so I may just cut it off. In this case, we need our quarters, corners to be super neat. That way we don't um, mess up the paint in the corners. I think that's probably close enough. So let me know what you guys have been crafting recently. What have you been working on? I feel like it's just been such a long time since I've been live. Ooh, Kayla said the bright green is her absolute favorite. I'm assuming you're talking about Luster. Oh my gosh, you guys, we'll have to do a whole nother live on Luster. I um, used the Style Tech Luster vinyl in an Instagram live with my friend Sydney a couple weeks ago and you guys it is so gorgeous like I'm just obsessed with the metallic look and oh my gosh there's so many pretty kinds of vinyl I just want to craft with all of them I've been on a cup um a and like an epoxy tumbler little um <laughs> episode as you can say lately that's what it feels like because i literally will not work on epoxy tumblers for months at a time and then all of a sudden i just randomly start working on them and i go crazy until i get a bunch of them done and then i don't do any for months again <laughs> i don't know if anyone else works like that but that's how my that's how my life is with tumblers i don't know why um but i've been having fun with the ones i've been working on so those will be done soon. I sanded them last night, but I didn't have time to put a second coat of epoxy over top. Ooh, Mandy said that green and purple are her go-tos. How fun. Yeah, I am definitely, purple is my favorite color, so I am always a fan of basically anything purple. All right, just gonna put this in the corner so we can make sure everything is well covered. I'm going to zoom you guys out a little tiny bit. 
you can see a little more of what I'm doing. There we go. You're gonna have to see my messy table, so sorry about that. <laughs> but I'm sure you guys understand. I bet you probably craft from a table with stuff all over it too. So I'm just gonna be using like acrylic multi-surface paint, not anything all that fancy, and we're just gonna be doing the border of this sign. Oh yeah, hey Sydney, I'm glad you're here. She said she loves Luster too. I agree. You guys, I am absolutely in love with Luster. Mama Bear said, I have 110 pound cardstock in that coppery brown color and I love it. I do too, it's a really pretty neutral and I've really been appreciating neutrals in my crafts recently. I always used to go for color and I still do, I still like really colorful stuff, but I've really been loving the neutrals and just kind of the neutral um, look to stuff lately. Mandy said, I wish to get on the epoxy train because I have everything to do and no motivation. I know it's really, really hard, especially when you're just getting started. You always want to make sure that everything's perfect, but you just have to kind of rip off the bandaid and go for it, knowing it's not going to be perfect and that's okay. <laughs> Sydney says her, my table looks spotless compared to hers. Sydney, there is literally stuff all over it. I've got laptops and iPads and vinyl stacks in case you guys want to see any of the vinyl. It's wild around here, but you're probably right. Compared to some of you guys with kiddos, I bet my table probably does look spotless, huh? Oh yeah, Kayla said she's working on the cutie contest. If you guys have not heard about this, Cricut is doing a um, cutie giveaway for um, crafts that are cutie related. So they have the contest going on their Facebook page if you guys want to go check it out. And you can win a cutie just for crafting a cutie. And they have tons of cutie images right in Design Space, so you don't even have to go like searching for them. They made it super easy to do. Um, but I think the contest only goes through tomorrow. Is that right, Kayla? I think it only goes until the 30th. So, um, Definitely make sure that you take advantage of that if you love Cricut Cuties or if you want to win one because it looks super fun. If I was not quite as swamped as I am, I would totally go for it. I had ambitions to go for it, like always, um, but things are just a little too crazy for that, for me personally. So I'm just starting with the edges because I know that they're going to be, um, I wanna make sure that I give them the longest to dry before I set them down on my table. So I'm gonna start with this edge, and I'll probably go down this edge next and get as much done as I can while I have this sign all propped up. Oh, Sydney finished her cutie this morning. What did you make, Sydney, for the cutie contest? Yeah, yeah, Ruth, and she said that, um, Ruth said that the cutie images are free, and they are, so that's even better. You don't have to have cricket access or anything. Letta said she's been doing glass dotting, just got done with two wine glasses. Oh, that's cool. How is that different from glass etching, Letta? I'd love to know. Ooh, Mary's making a porch sign, very cool. I have all the stuff to make a porch sign. <laughs> I have a lot more supplies than I do uh, time to make all the crafts. I'm sure you guys can relate. Ruth said she checked, yes, I think the contest does end tomorrow. Thank you, Ruth, yeah. I was pretty sure it only went through like the 30th, so it's kind of short-lived. But if you guys have time to make something, you could win a free Cricut Cutie. And I don't, they didn't say like what color or anything like that, um, but how cool would that be? And they have like, didn't they say like 100 winners? Am I making that up? I'm pretty sure it's like 100 winners, so they're actually giving it to a lot of y'all. It's not just gonna be like a one person um, kind of thing. But you enter on the official Cricut Facebook page. So if you guys want to go check that out, you can. I'm just painting those edges still, and then I'll get started on the rest. Could probably use two uh, coats of paint to be honest, but I think that that's, I'm just going to keep it really, really simple. Ooh, Sydney said she did a onesie. She's posting a reel in a few hours. Well, I can't wait to see it, Sydney. That's really cool. There's so many fun things to do with the cutie crafts. They have all kinds of cute images. So 
I was going to work on cups tonight. Maybe I'll make a cutie. Who knows? <laughs> Never know with me. Letta said, glass dotting is dotting acrylic paint on wine glasses. Oh, yeah. I've seen like the anthropology style ones. Is that what you're talking about, Letta? I bet it's beautiful. She said it's very relaxing, or at least it is for her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, very cool. I've never, I don't know anyone, I don't think that's like made one of those before. At least I don't hear people talking about it. So that's really neat. <laughs> All right, so now I'm gonna to get to the regular part of the frame and then I'll do the, well, yeah, I'll do the inner area of the frame last. I'm still holding it up so that um, I can give the sides some time to dry before I set it down on my mat, just so it doesn't get um, paint everywhere. This would be a great project for chalk paint as well. Chalk paint would look really good around the edges. I just don't have any chalk paint in red, so that's why I chose acrylic paint. And the coverage on this is much lighter than I expected. I just opened this bottle of paint, so I don't know that I've used this one specifically before, but you can actually still see the wood grain pretty extensively through this paint, so it's a little, little less coverage than I hoped for, but that's okay. We'll roll with it. Oh, that's a great idea. Mia suggested that um, Letta shares the project in my Facebook group. I would love to see it, Letta. Yeah, um, the link to my Facebook group is in the description below if you want to join. You can also search for it on Facebook. My Facebook group is called All the Things Cricket and Crafty with DIY Alex, and we're, we share all the things in there. <laughs> or at least we try, you know? We're all just a bunch of crafters trying to find time in our lives to craft. <laughs> oh, this is so relaxing. You guys, I'm so glad I decided to go live with you all today. Like I said, I don't know that I would have if I hadn't promised you, I think last week on Facebook when I went live, I told you guys I would work on this sign but I just wanted to take a break. I feel like I kind of got into a groove of always doing premieres, which is not a bad thing, but I really like hanging out with you guys live. So I'm gonna try to do this more regularly. Great, Letta, yeah, we'd love to see your glass dotted wine glass. I would love that. Oh, that's true. Mandy um, su suggested that it looks kind of rustic if you can see the wood through the paint. Yeah, like it's not a terrible look. I had just kind of hoped for like a solid red, you know, but hey, that's okay. We're going to work with it and it's going to be great. It's one of those things. <laughs> I also wanted to do this the week of July 4th because I don't know if you guys do this, but like every year I have ambitions to decorate my house for the 4th. And if I have cute things that are accessible, I will do it. But if I don't have something pretty well ready to go or like I can make it pretty quick, then it definitely doesn't happen. <laughs> so I thought maybe if we all, um, if I reminded you, it's only Tuesday, you've got some time to make some crafty stuff if you decide that you want to decorate for the fourth. Okay. That's like relatively dry, at least on the bottom. So I'm going to, I'm gonna set it down and maybe even hold it by the string while I give it some more time to dry. But I'm gonna do these inner edges, so I know that's a little bit tough to see on the camera, but I'm going to do the edges now, which is why I put down the tape. That way I don't have to worry about being super neat because like I said, I know myself and I am not a neat painter at all. So I put the paint down so that I don't have to worry. I can just go to town. Thanks, Deanna. She said she always enjoys my lives. That's really sweet. 
I always enjoy going live with you guys. I would rather talk to y'all live than do just about anything else because I'm all, I'm all about the people. That's why I do what I do. Oh, thanks, Sydney. I love crafting with you too. We've been going live on Instagram. If you guys have an Instagram, make sure that you follow both Sydney and I because we've been doing some lives and we've got some more fun stuff planned for you later in July. It's just so fun to craft together because I was telling Sydney on our live last week, I just have a tendency to get caught up in kind of the, the business side of you know what I do and I love it so much. Even the business side, I really enjoy it. Um, but sometimes it's good to just do, just do crafts. You know what I mean? Even though I craft sort of for a living in addition to lots of other stuff, even I get a little bogged down in just the responsibilities and all the things we have to do. So I love doing lives because it keeps me accountable and it kind of forces me into being creative. Even if sometimes, you know, I might feel like I don't have time. If it's for you guys, then I can always make time. Yeah, I'm not a neat painter. That's true. That's why my mom painted the craft room. Yes. Well, and plus interior painting is like a whole different shenanigan than, you know, painting an acrylic sign. But it's true. I'm not a neat painter. So true. And even if it's not perfect, this is, you know, one of those projects that doesn't really matter. It like kind of matters. <laughs> But it doesn't really, really matter, you know? All right. So I think we're dry enough that I can lay this guy down. So I'll lay it down and then I'm gonna pull up the tape pretty much right away because I don't wanna let that dry. I'll look for any spots that I missed that I couldn't see. Uh, but you don't wanna let the paint dry because then when you pull the tape off, it'll kind of flake. It can um, pull your paint off. So don't let it dry for too long if you can help it. Okay. You know, Mandy, the more that I look at this, you really are right. It kind of looks like a paint stain. It doesn't really look like a, like a full coat of paint. It's definitely more on the rustic side, that's for sure. But that's fine. We'll add some glitter to it and it'll be beautiful. All right. So we'll pull off some of this tape. And then this way, the sign can dry a little bit while I'm weeding the vinyl for all my pieces. And I picked a really fun truck image. Oh, you know what? I forgot to link that for you guys in the description. I'll have to uh, grab that link before we go and send it to you guys in case you want to make the same sign for the fourth. It's super cute. And it took a little bit of like, it really wasn't hard. I just had to do a little bit of attaching and welding and stuff like that. And I also did an offset on the truck because I'm using the blue for the truck and I wanted to make sure that with the black background, there was enough contrast. So I did an offset in design space on the truck, but it really wasn't a difficult SVG to work with. So definitely recommend it if you're looking for something to make. <laughs> Just a little bit of paint on my hands, but we can deal with that. Yeah, exactly. Dion said, lives are fun. Gives you an opportunity to chat with you and everyone. Yeah, I really like hanging out with you guys. And that's honestly like, I know that sounds probably so cheesy, but that's exactly why I do what I do. Because I love talking to you guys and hanging out with you. And, you know, lives give us a chance to actually connect, you know. And even more than ever, I really, I really appreciate the connect, like, you know, connecting with other people who like to do the same thing that I like to do, especially over the past year when we were spending so much time at home, you know, I, I value it even more than I used to. Because I think I just took it for granted. All right. So I've got a few pieces. Oh, you know what? <laughs> I put that white piece away and that I think is my truck outline, right? Yep, okay. So I'm going to weed this piece first. This is the um, StarCraft, sorry, not StarCraft, StyleTech FX Glitter Vinyl. And it's so beautiful. And so what I cut this on is Glitter Vinyl More Pressure. And even after cutting it with more pressure, 
still a little bit, needed a little bit of encouragement to come off of the carrier sheet or off of the backing, I guess. I can see the cut lines in the front, but they didn't come all the way through, so I'll need to work on that cut setting. But I think this um, gold glitter especially is gonna pop really beautifully on the, um, on the black background. There we go. There we go. All right, I know you guys probably can't see that basically at all. <laughs> But this is going to be the offset of my truck. You can kind of see it there in the middle. And so that'll make a lot more sense when I weed the blue side and put it over top. Okay. Ooh, Kayla brought up a good point. She said, speaking of SVGs, tomorrow is the $1 deal sale. And it is. I'm so excited. <laughs> Dion said that the that they kill her and she's had to stay away. I know. The dollar deals are a killer. And so tomorrow's gonna be a little crazy because I am doing the unboxing at three o'clock. So I don't think I'm gonna be able to go live, but if I have time at the end of my work day today, I'm thinking about going live and chatting with you guys about it. Um, can we just talk about how easily that we did, you guys? <laughs> that was all one pull. We got it all off of there. So how amazing is that? Um, but yeah, so Dollar Deals is tomorrow, which I'm really excited about. But I'll be honest with you, I have not looked at the preview yet. <laughs> so maybe we'll go live and look at the preview if I have time, like I said. Maybe, maybe not. And actually, I think this is an SVG that I might have gotten from like the A. One dollar deals, May, April or May. So it was out of a bundle for a dollar that I bought it from. So really, really easy. Brenda said, "What setting would you use that has more pressure than glitter vinyl? More pressure? Those settings confuse me. I totally understand, Brenda. So you can actually look in your Cricut Design Space and see that if you want to. You can look in." Um, you can look in your material settings and you can actually look at the numbers. But once I finish, once I max out glitter vinyl and then glitter vinyl more pressure, I go to light cardstock next. Dion said, I love working with vinyl and don't do it as often as I should. Made a shirt for hubs the other day and it gave me the bug again. I know, isn't that so funny when you get started with a project then all of a sudden you just like, that's how I am with tumblers. Once I get started, I like start acting like a crazy person and then you can't hardly pull me away. <laughs> but it is so fun to get kind of back into it. So I've got all these miscellaneous stars and I'm going to just kind of put them wherever I want. I'm not going to arrange them the way that they're arranged in the SVG. Thanks, Mandy. She said, I love the truck. I know, isn't this thing cute? Oh, it's gonna be so cute. And then I have the little piece of... Um, Style Tech Luster that I cut, and it is just gonna go, I'll show you. It reminds me of like a vintage truck. This is kind of like the rack in the truck bed or something. I don't know, I should probably know what that's called. <laughs> but I don't. It goes, well, I guess, does it go down? Yeah, so it's gonna go right there on the back of our truck, and it's gonna be so cute. So those are weeded, and then I'm gonna do some of these stars. And I cut this one on more pressure as well. Glitter vinyl, more pressure. So this is the um, Style Tech FX again. There we go. And um, so something that I learned one time about the, um, when you change a Cricut setting, especially when you have the Cricut Maker, and then you have the options for the more, the default more or less pressure, the um, more and less only changes it by a couple of pressure points. So the more or the less really doesn't change it a whole, whole lot. I used to think that it was much more significant, um, but I actually reached out to Cricut, like customer service, to find out what the, what the difference was because I was making that video, if you guys haven't seen it, uh, about um, getting the perfect cut pressure. I made a whole video about how to make test cuts and how to create your own cut settings and everything. And when I was doing the research for that video, that's when I reached out to Cricut because I wanted to make sure what I was saying to you guys was accurate. 
So if you try the more or you try the less and it doesn't work for you, then I would go ahead and just suggest creating your own cut setting. Because every machine is different and even every blade and every mat makes a difference. So if you cut something one time and it doesn't work the way that it did in the past, don't worry, don't stress, because there's a lot of factors that go into your cut. And you can just go ahead and create a cut setting for that. Or you can actually adjust the cut settings that are default. So if you do, if you wanna make sure to use the same like vinyl setting, but say your vinyl always um, doesn't cut deep enough, you can, buy, you can change the default numbers for your personal machine. So it's really, really easy to work with. Um, I can drop that link in the comments if you guys want to see that. If you're struggling with it, it's actually become one of my most viewed videos. And it really like, it is not a video with a lot of frills. It's not fancy. It's not fancy edited or anything, but it has helped a lot of people figure that out because I know that it's so confusing. And that's what prompted me to make the video is it's just, it's something that you can do that a lot of people don't even realize. Honestly, I didn't even realize what cut settings you could do for a really long time. All right, you guys, I'm actually gonna take off my microphone really quick and I'm going to, um, I forgot to grab this little sheet. Okay, we're gonna do something different that I've never done before, um, but I'm really excited to show you guys um, this trick. And it's something that somebody messaged me about. So if you are this person, I am so sorry that I cannot remember who we talked about it about, but we talked about, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Let me try that again. Um, we had a conversation on Facebook Messenger about using a sheet of clear silicone to layer your vinyl instead of parchment paper. And the reason that that's so beneficial is because you don't have to continue using a ton of pieces of parchment paper, especially for larger pieces like this. You're constantly using a new piece of parchment paper every single time. So I ordered the clear sheet of silicone that you suggested and I got it in and I'm gonna try it for the first time on this live. Yeah, I'm glad you guys didn't know that either because when I was new, I did not know about all the things that you could do with your own cut settings. And I always hear people complaining like their machine for whatever particular reason just doesn't cut as deep or whatever and they just continue to struggle with it. So instead of struggling, you can make those adjustments for yourself. Now granted, if you ever wanna change them back, you don't know what the default setting was. Like let's say, you know, your blade is a little old so it struggles a little bit and then you change your blade and then you want to go back to the default, it doesn't save the previous values. So you may just wanna go ahead and create your own cut setting. But if your machine is just a little weaker or a little stronger than the average and you're always having problems with it, no matter what, you can adjust your own default cut setting. Isn't that cool? So I'll drop that in the comments for you guys if you'll remind me. Um, and you guys can go check that out. I think it's called like, it's a video on my channel. It's one of the one of my first ones actually, and it's called like, how to get the perfect cut or how to adjust your cut pressure, something like that. Yeah, isn't that great? Hey, Dion, yeah, thanks. This all-American font is just an SVG, so I don't know what the font is, but it's really, really cute. Oh, that's a good question. New York Glam Girl 16 said, what's the difference between Starcraft Deceit and Magic? I will answer that in just a second. And Deanna asked me what I think about the Maker 3, and I will definitely answer that too. Let me, I'm gonna um, take off my microphone really quick, and I'm gonna go grab my sheet of silicone. Give me just a hot, just a hot. Okay, We're gonna try this for the first time, and then whoever you are, I'm gonna look you up in my Facebook Messenger because I had a whole conversation with one of y'all about this. Okay, I'm sorry if this is a little bit loud. I'm gonna put my microphone back in. Um, okay, so where are we gonna start? with your questions. What do I think about the Maker 3? So Deanna, I think the Maker 3 is really cool. Um, the way that I saw what Cricut was doing is they're basically just updating their technology. Whoops, sorry guys. <laughs> we went black screen there for just a second. What I see the Maker 3 as is just an update in technology. So if you already have a maker, I don't think that I would upgrade to the new maker. Um, but if you're looking to upgrade to a maker, like if you only have an Explore Air 2 and you want a maker, I don't think it's a bad idea. I think it's pretty cool. 
Oh, Ruth, that's so good to know. She said there's a reset option to go back to the default setting. Well, thank you so much for correcting me because I did not know that there, that, that was there. That's great. And we're talking about the default cut pressure, guys. Sorry. Y'all know I, I hop around like a crazy person sometimes when I answer your questions um, or when I, uh, yeah, when I answer questions. So thank you, Ruth. I really appreciate that. So that's my opinion on the Maker 3. I think it's a good product. I don't think that I would upgrade my Maker specifically for that purpose, but if you want a Maker, I don't think it's a bad thing to go ahead and get the new one. You know what I mean? Um, so that's my take on it. I just perceived it as, you know, Cricut really hasn't put out a new machine that's equivalent to the Maker or Explorer Air 2 in the last few years. So I think this was just an update in technology, but I don't necessarily know that, like I'm not, I don't plan on necessarily upgrading my Maker anytime soon, um, just because I don't think that it's necessary. So the other question, um, was what's the difference between Starcraft Deceit and Starcraft Magic? So Starcraft Deceit is a much finer um, glitter look than the um, hoax. That's what you're asking for, right? So Starcraft Deceit is Starcraft Magic, and I'm guessing you're looking at Starcraft Deceit Magic and Starcraft Hoax Hollow. Hoax Hollow is much, um, the grains of the glitter are larger, where the Deceit glitter, the grains are much smaller. So it's just a different look in the glitters, if that makes any sense. And if you guys will remind me, um, I have both of those, so I can show you the difference if you want to see it. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys this little trick. This is essentially the same as the parchment paper trick, if you guys have seen that before. But instead, I ordered this sheet of clear silicone. So it literally is completely clear. It's just a little, it like is a little sticky. It sounds a little funny. And what I'm going to do is I've got my top layer of vinyl with transfer tape over it. And I'm going to remove the backing. And this, what this helps you do, in case you guys are unfamiliar with this trick, is it helps you layer without, um, helps you layer without messing up your vinyl. So you get a chance to like try it before you put it down. And actually I'm gonna do it upside down and nothing sticks to silicone. So that's why we're putting it on this silicone sheet with a little bit of transfer tape hanging over um, because we want to see where we're putting this truck before we actually place it. I'm gonna move my board out of the way. And then what I'm gonna do, I have the transfer tape hanging down a little bit so that when I go to layer it, I have like a way to anchor it. And I'm just going to put that second layer underneath the silicone. Whoop, and I got the silicone stuck. I might have to trim this sheet down a little bit. And what I'm able to do is I'm able to see how I'm layering so that I don't end up having to cut a new piece of vinyl if I don't lay it down exactly the way that I want it. You know what I mean? Okay, I've got it way down too low. <laughs> the only thing is the silicone is awfully like sticky, you know? It sticks to itself and it sticks to the table. See that? Where parchment paper doesn't quite do that, but it's basically a reusable method for the parchment paper trick. <laughs> Scooting a little bit there. Darn it. That might be a problem. Deanna said, okay, thanks, that's helpful. Good, good. Already had the Cricut Maker and wasn't sure if you should upgrade. Yeah, Deanna, I mean, unless you think that you just need a new machine or something, I would probably stick with what you've got um, just because you're not really getting any new capabilities. Okay, that's looking a lot better. And I know it's really hard for you guys to see. You'll be able to see what I'm doing here in just a second. Okay, so what I did is I have my layers perfectly aligned, right? And I have this little piece of transfer tape at the bottom, almost acting like a hinge, like the hinge method. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna peel up my truck and transfer tape, and it's not gonna stick to the silicone. I'm gonna move the silicone out of the way, keeping that transfer tape anchored to the table. And then I'm just gonna slowly lay it down like this. 
and it's perfectly centered. Isn't that cool? So that's exactly what you would do with parchment paper because you can see through parchment paper as well, except that with parchment paper, you have to cut a different piece of paper to size every single time. If you have a piece like this, and what I may do is I may even cut this in half so that there's less to deal with, because see it is a little sticky and it sticks to itself. But if I cut it down the center so that I have two of these, then that's gonna cover most sizes like if I cut it down the center, like um, hamburger style, and cut it in half right there where my finger's at, that would give me two different pieces to work with. So isn't that cool? Yeah, and I'll, guys, I will totally go back in my messages and figure out who it was that suggested that to me because this was not my original idea. It was one of my followers, somebody messaged me and had this great idea and she's the one who linked the sheet for me and I told her I would order it on Prime Day while I was already already making a huge Amazon order. Um, so if you guys want that link to Amazon, let me know. Oh no, I messed up one of my stars. <laughs> I found a star in my trash pile. Whoops, we'll stick them back over here. Accidentally trashed a star. My bad. <laughs> yeah, isn't that cool? Yeah, I'll link that for you, Mandy. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to center my truck onto my chalkboard sign along with the All-American because the All-American is supposed to go at the bottom. And then I will, um, and it was kind of, it was up kind of far here. And then we can do this. We're going to do the stars over top the truck bed. So it's going to be super cute. Let's see if that will fit the All-American underneath there. Mm. Yeah, that'll fit okay. I'll be a little tight, but I'll be good. So I'm just going to do it this way. So I'm going to kind of do the same thing. I cut a little bit of piece of transfer tape that's a little bit larger than my backing. I'm going to use that bottom area again as a hinge. I'm going to peel the backing off. And then as I lay this down here, I'll use my squeegee to make sure I don't have any bubbles. So now you guys can see <laughs> what I was working with. I know you couldn't see my offset before, but see how dark blue that truck is? I just really wanted to make sure that um, you could see it on the black chalkboard. That's why I chose to do an offset. And I did go ahead and offset this area as well. Looks like it goes this direction. Um, that way you can kind of just have an offset on the truck. It's not cute. Ugh, I just love it. So fun. Actually, I'm going to open this transfer tape back up and I'm going to use it too so I don't waste. All right. So I'm going to stick this one down here. I'm going to use this for the All American also. Okay. We're moving right along, guys. This is so easy. I'll set this to the side. I may use this transfer tape again when it comes to my stars as well. We'll see. Does anyone have any fun plans for the 4th of July? Let me know if you guys are doing anything exciting. I've actually got some family coming to visit me, which is fun. My in-laws are actually gonna come for the weekend and then my parents and my brother and his girlfriend are all gonna come and we are gonna do a riverboat cruise in downtown Louisville. I forgot a piece. <laughs> um, we're gonna do a riverboat cruise on Sunday night and watch the fireworks from the boat. So it should be a really fun evening. There we go. All right, so I'm going to use the offset to guide where I put the, what'd you call it, Mandy? Yeah, the fence for the back of the truck, exactly. So 
So I'll just set it right there. Oh, you guys, this is turning out to be so cute. I just love these kinds of signs. Oh, you guys, you know what I didn't cut that would be so perfect for this? I really need some paper flowers for this. <laughs> Kayla said she's going to Sam's. Hey, listen, y'all know I love some Costco, so I'm sure that that's equally fun to go to Sam's. That's so funny. Letta said, nothing fancy. Hey, sometimes that's what it's all about, but we decided that since we haven't seen our family and stuff as much this past year, we wanted to do something totally different. So yeah, I'm so excited for the um, fireworks, like riverboat cruise. I, if you guys are local to Louisville, we're going on the Belle of Louisville um, riverboat thingy. It's going to be so fun. It was actually my husband's idea. We were talking about renting a pontoon boat for the weekend or for the day and having everybody do that, but it was going to be so expensive. Holy moly. They would really hiked up the price for 4th of July, and we were like, eh, no. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm going to struggle a little bit to center this. In fact, I'm going to cut some of the transfer tape off the bottom. And we definitely knew we wanted to go on some kind of a boat ride, but we didn't want to rent a boat, so we decided on the river boat. I think it's going to be so fun. Okay. It's hard to see. Okay, I think that's about centered. We're going to guess and we're going to hope <laughs> that it is. All right. So, squeegee. And so for those of you who are new, um, like I was talking about in the beginning, if you missed it, these are um, some new colors in my favorite adhesive vinyl, StarCraft HD. They have some metallic colors that they released. And this is adhesive vinyl, so that means it goes on hard surfaces. So that's why I am using it um, that's why I'm using it on this chalkboard sign. So this is adhesive vinyl. Hey, Michael. Oh, fun. I'm so glad you're here. You guys, everyone say hi to Michael. That's Mr. Crafty Pants, in case you guys don't know him. You guys, Michael is one of the best people. Oh my gosh, Michael is amazing. So if you don't already follow him, please do yourself a favor and follow him because he is literally amazing. He's such a good teacher and he's an even better friend. You guys, he's just such a genuine guy. So next I have some stars that I'm gonna put in these wheels. So that's what I'm gonna do next. And in fact, I don't even think I'm gonna use transfer tape. I'm just gonna be wild and crazy and I'm going to peel off <laughs> the star since they're a solid shape, just like that, and just stick them in the middle. So cute, so cute. All right. Then we'll do this one. Try to keep it centered with the other one. And that's basically it for the truck and the All-American part. The last part we need to do is we're just gonna add a bunch of stars in the truck bed. And I'm just gonna have fun with the way that this is shaped. There, it was like a, uh, the original SVG had it shaped like a pyramid, but I just decided that I just wanted to randomly place some stars and I just wanted to have fun with it. So I didn't attach the stars and keep them in any particular order. I thought it would be more fun to just play with them. So that is what we're gonna do. <laughs> she said, oh, you're the best, Michael. You're so sweet. Yes, he really is awesome. Definitely. Holly said, Mr. Crafty Pants has me obsessed with pink, teal, and violet. Listen, you're speaking my language. I feel like this, this craft is definitely a break from what I normally do. And of course, I love decorating for, you know, patriotic occasions too. But I am definitely on like the pink and purple and cool colored color scheme. Y'all have my heart with that. <laughs> okay. So yeah, I'm just going to start sticking them. Might use some transfer tape, might not. <laughs> might get a little rebellious, who knows? But I thought this would just be a fun, fun little craft for July 4th. Like I told you guys, I'm just really bad at remembering <laughs> to decorate. So I figured the week of the 4th, we might as well make a, a patriotic craft together. And then I have no excuse not to craft, right? 
we'll put this one up top. Now that I'm working on some smaller stuff, I'll zoom y'all in just a little bit. You can see what I'm doing. Okay. So we've got the red, white, and blue, and now I'm gonna add in some silver so it doesn't get too monotonous. Hey, Lisa, welcome. I'm so glad that you're here. That's so exciting that you're new. I'm so glad that you're here. We are just finishing up this project, actually. Um, I went ahead, this was a chalkboard sign that I got from Michaels, and I started out by painting around the edges, and then I layered the vinyl and added all this in here, and now I'm just having fun with it. So we're not getting too, you know, um, not getting too perfect about the back. We're just playing around. Thanks, Deanna. I love it. I love it. I'm living for it. Okay, <laughs> what color do we need next? We need another big star. Maybe we should mix it up with a little one. Yeah, we'll mix it up with a little one. So these blues are gonna be a little harder to see, the ones that are not offset, which is exactly why I decided to offset the truck. So I'm glad that I did that. We'll do another white star up here. We'll just get a little crazy. You know what I mean? <laughs> I know it's a little hard to see because there's a glare on it. My um, ceiling light is on directly above you guys, but the colors are different. And I'll show it to you at the end. Ooh, that one's right there though. All right, we're going to put this big blue star at the end of the truck like that. Kind of look, make it look like the stars are falling off the truck. <laughs> yes, Kayla, that is so true. So if you guys um, don't know, Heather Yoakum works at 143 Vinyl, and I worked at 143 Vinyl for a while, and we used to be partners in crime going live together, and Heather is what we affectionately call a winger. <laughs> She wings a lot of her crafts. She just kind of slaps it on there. And I am a planner. Um, I like to have everything just so. And Heather has definitely rubbed off on me. <laughs> um, and I went from just being super planned and super perfectionistic to um, just kind of going for it. And that has definitely been a, um, a big change for me. I like to say that I am a recovering perfectionist. I talk about it a little bit on my social media because I just think that life is more fun when you just go for it, you know? <laughs> Thanks, guys. You guys are loving this. I'm loving it, too. I just love how fun this is. So give me a second, and I will go link the SVG for y'all in case you want to do it, too. Ugh, we, had a little <laughs> we had a little collision there, but that's okay. We're, like I said, guys, we're going for it, right? We can't get too caught up in the details. We're just having fun. Oh, thanks, Dion. We have a lot of fun together, and I still love going live with Heather. Still love it. Whenever I go to 143, she's still my partner in crime. Katie and Marvin are amazing, though. Katie and Marvin at 143 are still so much fun, so make sure that you guys go check them out if you don't already. Um, but yeah, we are definitely, <laughs> we definitely go way back. Thanks, guys. All right, what do you think? Should I do more stars, or do you think we call it a day? We're looking a little bit bare up here, but at the same time, I don't want to, like, overcrowd it. Ooh, maybe we need one more back here, so it's kind of trailing off the truck. What do you guys think? Can you see the metallic look to it? You can actually, there's a, there's a lot of bubbles <laughs> in my vinyl, so we'll have to work on that. Um, hopefully a lot of them will work themselves out, but you can see the metallicness in that glare a little bit. Turned out so fun though. Yep, I think I've made my mind up. I want one more little star kind of trailing off the back. <laughs> yes, y'all know the Hot Mess Express. Okay, well, I'm, talk I'm talking like you guys don't know what I'm talking about, but I think you, you probably do. Yes, I miss our Starbucks runs 
Dion. I was just talking to Heather earlier today. We still talk all the time. <laughs> she can never get rid of me. <laughs> oh, yes. Okay. That's what it needed. But you guys, we have to abandon this project before it gets to be too much. You know how sometimes when you're working on a craft project, you're like, oh, you're like, oh, I'll just add a little more. Oh, yeah, I'll just do a little more. And then before you know it, you've gone like way, way, way overboard. <laughs> I don't want to keep going and adding a bunch to it. Um, the only other thing I would change, and if I had some cut, I would do it. Now you guys can see it from the front. Um, but I would definitely maybe add some paper flowers either around the frame or just inside on the chalkboard. I think that would add a lot of balance to it since we've got some empty space up here. Um, that would be the only thing that I would change about it. But I love it. I love it. I love it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I know, Mandy, it's this this vinyl is a lot of fun. So make sure you pick some up on your next order. Yeah, you guys are a fan of the flowers. I am, too. I think the flowers would be good. So maybe um, when I have a second, I will add some flowers to it because I think it would be really, really fun. Ooh, yeah. NYC Glamour Girl said you could make a fall one with a truck and put mums in the back of the truck. Oh, yes. Like mums and pumpkins and gourds. That would be so fun. <laughs> See, let us just add one more star. I know. See, that's the trap. Don't fall into the trap. Don't keep going because you're just going to mess it up. I am totally that girl who's like, ooh, just a little more. Ooh, just a little more. And that is especially a trap if you guys do epoxy tumblers. Just a little more will be the death of cup makers because <laughs> we always, you can always just add a little more glitter, but sometimes enough is just enough. So yeah, this is our final project. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. It has been so much fun hanging out with you too. Um, and I think I'm, yep, I'm convinced we're adding flowers at some point. <laughs> I don't know when that will be, but I'm going to add some flowers to it. Maybe like down here in this corner and then somewhere over here. I don't know. We'll get there. But anyways, guys, thank you so, so much for hanging out with me. I appreciate you so much. This was a blast. So if you haven't already subscribed to the DIY Alex YouTube channel, please subscribe before you go. You can click the big red button and that will get you to subscribe. And then right next to the big red button, there's a little bell icon. And if you click that bell and you turn on notifications, you'll get notified every time I post a new video or go live. So um, yeah, please be sure to do that if you want to hang out with... Um, if you want to hang out with me more often, <laughs> it is a trap. You guys know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Deanna said you'll have to make a hot lo Hobby Lobby run. Yeah, I'm sure Hobby Lobby has stuff like this too. I got the specific board from Michael's, but I'm sure that you could get it from Hobby Lobby too. Yes, and Kayla is always keeping me together. So in case you guys have not already shopped the All Things Glitter sale, if you're watching this today on Tuesday, June 29th when it's being posted, if you're watching it by midnight, you can go get 15% off all glitter vinyl, glitter HTV, and loose glitter at 143 Vinyl, which is so fun. So definitely go grab that. And Kayla just dropped the link for you guys if you want to check it out. The code for that is GLITTER15. That's all caps, GLITTER15, if you want to check out the All Things Glitter sale. I will share the picture, Ruth, after I add the flowers, definitely. Okay, so Mandy, the um, most of the red, white, and blue is the um, metallic Starcraft HD in red and red and blue. The white is the um, Stylotech FX glitter. This is the white gold glitter, and then the silver, I think, is just called silver. And so the Stylotech FX is included in the sale. The Starcraft HD is not included. Um, because technically it's metallic, it's not glittery. You know what I mean? So that's where we're at. So you guys, thank you so much for a wonderful evening. I hope you guys have a great 4th of July and make sure to join me back tomorrow on my channel because I am unboxing the DIY Alex Summer Party Mystery Box and it's gonna be so much fun. You are 